I'm so excited about this part. I'm a very new person to learning about makeup. I really have always used very minimal makeup, but since all of my coaching is now since COVID through video, Derek and I are doing these YouTube videos, TikTok videos, I need a little something. So I've been getting lessons from my daughter, Kira, and I'm still a brand new beginner, but this is my makeup routine. If you haven't watched my video before this one about how I get my face primed and ready for makeup, then definitely watch that first. Because right now I am moisturized, I have a little bit of face oil on, and my skin is just really hydrated and ready for some makeup. The first thing that I learned from my daughter was that you want to use a primer. The primer that I got that I absolutely love, it's called Milk Hydro Grip and Base Adherent. And this stuff is so natural, so light, it's not sticky, which a lot of primers I've used are either drying or sticky. This is not. With this, you just take a little pump. It's a one pump. I put that between my fingers and I just put it all over my skin. And because my skin has the, the face oil, it just slides all over. Remember, don't pull your skin. And it's important I put it all through my eyebrows. I also like blink into it so it goes on my eyelashes and I make sure it's all over my face. It's important to let it dry for one minute so it's absorbed and it's ready to do its thing. I put it, that stuff on the backs of my hands, everything, all extra product <laughs> goes on the backs of my hands. If you use a tissue, I have found out that if you wipe your hands off with a tissue in between different applications of makeup, you start to get tissue fuzz on your hands. So don't use that. Either wash your hands or just put that product on the back of your hands. The next thing I use, which is a tinted moisturizer SPF, it's by Nude Sticks. It's Nude Screen Daily Mineral Veil SPF 30. These mineral sunscreens are supposed to be perfect for your skin, non-nano zinc, and 100% reef safe, so the fishies are safe. And this comes in different colors, and the color that I'm using, it's nude. <laughs> I love that. With this, I'm just going to take one pump on my finger. It looks kind of dark, that's what I thought, right? But when I go to use it, I love using my fingers instead of a beauty blender. I feel like, I mean, beauty blenders are good for some things, but I feel like a lot of my product gets lost on my beauty blender, so I just make sure that I use really clean fingers. <laughs> All right. And I kind of go down my neck too. Whenever I press my neck, Derek's like, were you just choking? Whenever <laughs> I'm trying to talk and I press my neck, it chokes me. Ah! You're choking as you're doing it. I know. So that's it. And look how it like matched my, right on the back of my hand, matched my skin tone perfectly. So that is that. Then we just want to give that a couple seconds to kind of soak in. This is called Nudie's Matte. The color is Sun Kiss. It's a face bronzing color, but you can use it on your lips, on your cheeks, on your eyes. I like to use this on my cheeks and I kind of go like that and like that. Kind of like a contour, bronzer, put a little here. And bronzer is really supposed to, it's a three thing. That's what I was taught. You want to make a three. Have that and I feel all bronzed and sun kissed. Then what I do is I use this Say, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Say, it's a liquid blush. What I do is I just take the tip of my finger and put a little bit on there and I put it on the apples of my cheeks. So then I'm getting just a really dewy, sun-kissed look. Like when someone tells you a dirty joke and you blush. So I just get a little bit of that there. And again, I'm patting, patting, patting. Okay. And from there, we're going to do eyebrows. I have to wear my glasses for this. And clean my glasses for this so I can see what's going on. This is my favorite eyebrow pencil, I guess you would call it. It's like a cream pencil. It's not very dry, but it's by Maybelline. It's Total Temptation. The color is 305 Soft Brown. And what I do for my eyebrows, first brush them up, and then I take the tip and fill them in. 
And then I did it with the other side too by just drawing the lines straight to the top and then filling in all the way to the outside. And it just, I don't know, I love the way that looks. It's, it's trial and error, you know, it's really practicing. And then I have this Anastasia brow gel, but really all the brow gels to me are pretty good. You just wanna get one that doesn't flake. And then I just brush my brows up. And I don't love, honestly, if you have light brows like I do and you have to pencil them in, I don't love the ones that are colored because you can't, it's, you get like gloppy colors and I don't feel like it's, it works for me. I guess if you had thicker brows and you were just brushing them up with a color and a gel in one, it would work for you. So that's the brow. The last thing I do, well, no, this isn't the last thing, but I never use these eyelash curlers. And then my daughter was like, Use the, it makes all the difference. It makes all the difference. So the trick is, is to get your lashes, to clamp it down and then do 20 pulses while looking left to right. I mean, I know I'm looking crazy right now, but for some reason it makes them all so much curlier. So 20 squeezes and looking back to, and look, how curly. My favorite mascara is this Babe Lash I love this line of products. This is Volumizing Mascara by Babe Lash. This is a brush that I have never seen with any other mascara. It is amazing. And you wanna get to the root and just start brushing up and maybe wiggling. That's pretty much all I do for my eyelashes. I usually make a crazy face, like, like that, I don't know why I have to. <laughs> but that's one eye, pretty. And I just look so much more awake, right? So let's do the other eye. And pulsing and looking back and forth 20 times. I said to my daughter, do I really have to do it like that? And she's like, yeah, <laughs> because it works. And then we wanna to get to the root again with this mascara. Babe Lash has Lash Growth Serum too, which I hear works really well. So I might have to try that. Because as we get older, our lashes get, my lashes are pretty light. They used to be so thick and heavy when I was younger, but they get lighter. Okay, so that's that. It's so funny because my daughters told me that your eyelashes and your eyebrows, they're called sisters because they're very much alike, but they're different. So you're not gonna be symmetrical because your hands this way and then your hands that way and your eyebrows are different shapes, a number of eyelashes and all that stuff. So they're sisters, I love that. I'll show you what I do for my lips because you guys always say, I love my lipstick when I'm on my TikTok live. So I'm gonna show you what I do, it's a combination. The first thing I do, remember I put primer on my lips a little bit, is I'm gonna outline my lips with this Nova Beauty lip pencil. Oh, this says it's for it's eyeliner. I haven't been using it for that. I've been using it as a lip liner. Ah. Well, there you go. I'm gonna still do it. And so the thing is I smile, the edges of my lips are kind of dark-er, so I just kind of go around that. That's funny that it's an eyeliner. But you know, a lot of makeup can be used on different areas of your face. Like I use lipstick on my cheeks all the time. I fill it in. And you know what, I've used other lip liners and they're so much harder to put on. This is so smooth and easy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, who else does that? Who else uses an eyeliner as a lip pencil? I mean, why not? Okay, so my next favorite thing to do with my lips is this is Physician's Formula Organic Wear Nourishing Lipstick. Color is spice. Physician's formula. It's a really high pigmented, strong lip color. So I, I again, I just, mm -hmm. push it on. And then what I do is I take a little gloss. This is Babe Glow Plumping Lip Jelly. Babe Lash brand. Take a little bit of that. And I put it on like that. Sometimes if I'm feeling too shiny and I want there to be 
a little less shine, I use this really beautiful loose powder by Laura Mercier. I take my loose powder, and this is a trick that I didn't know until Kira taught me this. You take your beauty blender. Usually you would think to put a brush in that and go crazy. She says, wet your beauty blender, wring out the water, then it's just taking a little dab of it going over your glossy areas. It really does not feel heavy and it just really takes away that shine in the T-zone. This does hold your makeup, so you can also go under the eye just a little bit. And then because your beauty blender is wet, it stops you from putting on too much. And then there you go. I am less shiny. And the final thing that I do to hold all of my makeup on is I take this product, which is by Desi. And this is a Do Me Over Prep, Set, and Refresh Face Mist. And this is just something that will hold my makeup. Mm, smells good. Doesn't sting my eyes. And there you go. I'm ready to shoot something. I'm ready to see a client. I am ready to go to the movies because we're going to the movies tonight and have a date. I'm just... Easy breezy makeup. I'm ready to take over the world. <laughs> and I'm so hydrated. Let me see. What do you think? Let me see. Let me see. You know the most important part, it looks natural and I just think It looks natural, right? Mm. But don't dip that. I'm still drying. I'm still drying. <laughs> Sherry knows I don't like a lot of makeup. I just love her to look like. I don't like a lot of makeup. We, we want to enhance, yeah. right? And this I don't Boy. feel this makeup on me. And I hate the feeling of makeup. Tell me what you guys think. Share any of your secrets with me, any suggestions. I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Shake it from a baby, when it can you make it clap? Control me, better ta ta ta. Ripping on your hips, hit it from the back. Control me, better ta ta ta. Shake it from a baby, come on, shake it from me, yeah. Shake it from a baby, come on, shake it from me, yeah. Shake it from a baby, come on, shake it from me, yeah. Shake it from a baby, come on, shake it from me, yeah. Shake it from me, baby, make that it's an earthquake. No debate, wanna see you what you need your worst way. Picking up a bottle, cause I know you like some dust. My belly like a model, it's a mask, gotta fake it, eh?